Hi everyone, in this video I would like to talk about the text-to-speech software and the use of Amazon Poly from Amazon Web Services. As I have mentioned in other videos, our text-to-speech software is a bridge between the cloud technologies that are available. Besides Amazon Poly, we also have the connection with Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud and IBM. You can sign up for free and get 300 credits so that you can test out the platform and to search for the voice that you're looking. Furthermore, in this video, I want to focus on Amazon Poly. If you're searching how Amazon Poly voices sound, I will be showing how some of those voices are alike. And actually, Amazon Poly is a good one. It's a good option that gives more alternatives to have different kinds of voices. So once you're signed up here on our platform, you can search among different languages. We have more than 60 languages available, and some of those will have the different variants that include the normal or standard voices plus the neural voices that are the ones that we recommend because those are more human-like voices. So furthermore, I will be showing some examples. And of course, I'm gonna start out with the English version. And as you can see here, we will have the standard version of the voices from Amazon Web Services and the neural voices. So let's listen to a male voice. Hello, you can use any of our voices to synthesize your text as needed. Add additional build-in voice effects to further enhance your speech, and also you can use neural voices to make your speech sound as if it was pronounced by a live human being. Now I'll compare another with a female voice. Hello, you can use any of our voices to synthesize your text as needed. Add additional built-in voice effects to further enhance your speech, and also you can use neural voices to make your speech sound as if it was pronounced by a live human being. One of the voices that are also included here with Amazon Poly is some child voices, so if you're doing some cartoon or some content for kids, then it could be also an, op an option to use the children voices. So let's listen. Hello, you can use any of our voices to synthesize your text as needed. Add additional build-in voice effects to further enhance your speech, and also you can use neural voices to make your speech sound as if it was pronounced by a live human being. And now a uh, female child voice. Hello. You can use any of our voices to synthesize your text as needed. Add additional build-in voice effects to further enhance your speech, and also you can use neural voices to make your speech sound as if it was pronounced by a live human being. It's worth mentioning that there, I do still have this feeling of having this robotic voice, even if it there comes from the child accent, probably, but... I do think that in the future, as these technologies keep moving and keep improving, there will we will have the opportunity to have more options to to create better content that the that for those that are probably don't like to use their own voices and prefer to use these technologies, then this is an opportunity as well to create content. Or if there is an app that you might have and you teach languages, for example, also using these type of technologies are a really good tool to be creating some content. So let's listen another language that also includes. So you can skip the video if you want to go further for some other examples. Since there are like plenty of languages, I'm not going to test out each of one. So as I mentioned, you can go to the description and check out for yourself if you want to go further and test the software so i will leave the link below also here with with amazon poly in comparison like for example microsoft azure with microsoft azure there are even more options but as you can see here in the japanese version we only have the robotic voices or the normal standard voices but let's listen konnichiwa watashi tachi no koe wo tsukatte hitsuyou ni ojite tekisto wo gousei dekimasu onsei kouka wo so if you're a Japanese speaker and you can really find out if it's a still robotic voice or it's getting closer to a real human voice, 
Let's have another example here now. A Korean voice, where it's actually there is a neural voice. Let's find out. 안녕하세요. 필요에 따라 음성을 사용하여 텍스트를 합성할 수 있습니다. 음성 효과에 추가 빌드를 추가하여 음성을 더욱 향상시킬 수 있으며 신경 음성을 사용하여 마치 살아있는 사람이 발음한 것처럼 음성을 들려줄 수 있습니다. As well with Korean. So now let's gonna test. Like for example here in the Mexican voice, there is no neural voice option. Hola. Puedes usar cualquiera de nuestras voces para sintetizar tu texto según sea necesario. Agregue efectos de voz adicionales para mejorar aún más su discurso, y también puede usar voces neuronales para hacer que su discurso suene como si fuera pronunciado por un ser humano vivo. And now if we go directly to Spanish USA, they actually have a neural voice, which is in comparison to the previous one a little bit better in my opinion. Hola. Puedes usar cualquiera de nuestras voces para sintetizar tu texto según sea necesario. Agregue efectos de voz adicionales para mejorar aún más su discurso y también puede usar voces neuronales para hacer que su discurso suene como si fuera pronunciado por un ser humano vivo. And there are even more options. Probably some they don't include the, the Amazon Web Services, but there are the options of using Google Cloud and Microsoft Azure. That in our opinion, the Microsoft Azure voices, the neural ones are pretty, pretty good. So that's a really good advantage of using our software that in case that you haven't found the specific provider there, there is also the opportunity to use from any other. So it's just a matter of testing and finding out which is the one the best for you and for your language. So just for showing up the software, we can easily select again the, the voice and it's a matter of just writing the text that you want to create an audio for. So I'm just going to write. And we can just listen, but it's worth mentioning that this is our disadvantage that since we have our subscriptions models or the pre-played plans for credits, even if you listen, the amount of text that you will listen or as a preview, that will unfortunately consume you, your characters. So I would recommend to di directly synthesize so that you can actually have the audio and then made in case that you want to do some modifications to the text, then do it afterwards so that you can actually have the audios to ready to be downloaded. Unfortunately, because of the structure of our platform and how we are connected with the cloud providers, we are on a pay as you go or a prepaid characters plan. So this is, this can be considered and not because it's our software and we will just start talking the whole wonderful software we have, but it's worth mentioning that yes, of course, we don't want to be like the the worst text-to-speech available, and we're not because we do believe that our text-to-speech is really good because it has the opportunity to have multiple cloud providers, but it's worth mentioning also our disadvantage so that you're also aware of, of, the, of that thing that it's probably missing here with us. So you can, after writing your text, you can listen. Hi, I am Matthew. I live in New York. I am 32 years old. And you can synthesize directly if you're okay, and you will have ready the audio to be downloaded here. So basically that's how it works. This text-to-speech software, it's really easy and simple to use. It's just by typing on adding the text that you want to synthesize and create the audios. There is no further configuration that you have to do with the cloud provider. So that's also another important, or it makes faster to create the audios without that hustle or the technical work that it might sometimes be required to do with the cloud providers. If you want to listen some more other language, if you have some questions, please write down in the comments. Thanks for watching.